Hello, everybody. This is uh, Catholic Dad, episode 61. What do Protestants ask of Catholics when they ask them to convert? Um, do they ask them to love the Lord Jesus Christ? Do they ask them to um, uh, believe that he uh, died, descended to hell, opened the gates of heaven, was resurrected? Um, do they ask them to believe that? No, because we already believe that, you know. Um, and I'm going to relate this in terms of, like, is it harder to become Protestant from Catholic or is it harder to become Catholic from Protestant? When a Catholic uh, asks a Protestant to convert to uh, Catholicism, he essentially asks him to keep all his uh, beliefs about Jesus, but also accept that there may be some other authority other than Scripture alone. And uh, to believe that in your heart and soul, because historically it actually makes a lot of sense. If, if Catholics went and uh, wrote the Bible, comp uh, you know, compilated the Bible, protected the Bible, distributed the Bible, and were the, uh, the ones who decided upon which uh, scriptures are in the new canons, then the authority of the Roman Catholic Church makes historical evidence. That's all we ask um, Protestants to accept when we ask them, them to convert. What do Pro uh, Protestants ask Catholics when they ask them to convert? And this is a much harder pill to swallow, by the way. And so think about it this way. I I'd, I'd invite all of you to go to John chapter 6, the Bread of Life chapter. Uh, and this is the, uh, the chapter of John where... Um, uh, Jesus is uh, telling the, um, the Jews, he was, uh, he's saying, uh, you, you know, all your ancestors ate ma uh, manna in the wilderness, and they're all dead, right? And unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you shall not have eternal life. And then the Jews started arguing amongst themselves, and he said, you know, I am f this is real flesh, this is real meat indeed, and my blood is real drink. And then uh, the Jews were arguing, and they actually found it really difficult to, um, uh, to believe Christ in what he was saying. And uh, just kind of a side note, um, cha uh, John chapter 6 is the only chapter in the New Canons that has over 66 verses. And uh, John chapter 6 verse 66 is, after the Jews decided um, they, they were no longer going, they, they can't believe that Jesus is the true flesh and the true blood and that you actually have to eat his flesh and eat his blood uh, after they're arguing with him, and they turned their back on him and walked with him no more. John 666. Think about that. And they turned their back on him and walked with him no more. And so the Jew Jews, although they loved Jesus and they thought he was really great and they wanted to follow him and he thought that he was the Son of Man, um, they could not accept the Holy Eucharist. That's what they could not accept. And when you turn your back on the Holy Eucharist, you deny the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what John chapter 6, verse 66 says. When you deny the true flesh and blood in the Holy Eucharist and you actually eating it, you turn your back on him and walk, or I'll walk with him no more. And this, uh, the Eucharist, um, the sacrament of the Eucharist is founded within the Roman Catholic Church. And uh, unless you eat his flesh and drink his blood, you shall not have eternal life. So what are the Protestants asking the Catholics when they convert? What they're asking them to do is essentially deny John chapter 6, uh, the bread of life chapter. And because they want them to give up the Roman Catholic Church, the one with the true authority from Jesus, and they want them, them to give up the, uh, the, the sacrament of the Eucharist. And even the Protestants, they, most of them deny that uh, the, the, um, the Eucharist is the true body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Most of them won't even claim they have it. And so that, that should be something they should, should bear thinking about, thinking about uh, John chapter 6 when Jesus is like, uh-uh, this is real meat and real flesh, and when the Jews deny it, they walk away from him. I mean, exa that's exactly what the Protestants are doing when they claim, well, it's not real meat, it's not real flesh, it's just a symbol of the Lord. That's all it is, it's just a symbol. There's, there's no transubstantiation, it doesn't really happen. Uh, what they're doing is they're turning their back on him and walking him no more. And so when the Protestants try to convert Catholics, what they're asking them to do, do is to deny the Holy Eucharist, to deny the salvation in the Holy Eucharist, and therefore your ancestors all ate manna and they are all dead. That's what Protestants are asking Catholics to do. And so a Catholic that is well-versed in his faith and his catechesis and, and um, whatever else, um, Protestants can throw as much scripture as they want at a Catholic. If they deny the Holy Eucharist, they're missing the entire boat because the Catholic's heart is bound to the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Eucharist. And if you ask a Catholic who loves the Lord 
to give up the Eucharist, essentially you're asking that Catholic to give up Jesus. That's what it means when a Protestant tries to convert a Catholic. The Protestant tries to take the Catholic away from Jesus, which should really bother the Protestant because they think they're trying to take him towards Jesus. Now the Catholic, on the other hand, what is the Catholic trying to do? The Catholic is trying to uh, introduce the, the Protestant to the sacramental life of the church, John chapter 6, and trying to say, listen, this is the, the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, and if you don't have it, you're going to be dead in the wilderness because all your ancestors, ancestors ate manna, and they are dead in the wilderness. But we have it. We actually have the true flesh and blood of the Lord and the Holy Eucharist, and if you come towards us, you're coming towards Jesus. Now, that might bother people, and uh, frankly, I don't care about it because I don't care if it bothers you because, boy, this is hard knock truth. Um, in my mind, if you, if you take the, the Bible literally, literally, if you take John chapter 6 literally, the Protestants are trying to take Catholics away from the Lord when they try to convert them. And if you take jo uh, John chapter 6 literally, when Catholics try to convert Protestants, they're trying to take them to the Lord, to the Holy Eucharist. So put that one in your pipe and smoke it for a little bit because um, if you pray and meditate over that one, look at the corpus of, the, uh, of our dead Lord uh, on the cross. Look, look at a crucifix, and as he is a uh, lifeless, bloody body lays there, um, think think about which direction should we should we be walking? Should we be walking towards him in the Holy Eucharist, or should we be walking away from him? And so, um, anyway, uh, have a great night. Uh, pray the the daily rosary. Try to get the mass and confession. And um, uh, please like or subscribe and enjoy, uh, enjoy these videos. Thank you. And oh, by the way, please uh, try to keep the com comments decent. Thank you.